Welcome to a beautifully scruffy and chilly day at the river house. So, young man here has the fire lit. Our goal for today is, is pretty small. I want to replace the fire brick and that wood stove, which we hope to replace this thing with. And I also want to have a look into why all of my mouse traps are disappearing. Now usually when a mouse trap disappears, it means you trapped a big mouse or a rat or something, and they scurry off with it still attached. I have lost four. I was under the impression I had basically sealed most of the big holes. Maybe not mouse-wise, but squirrel-wise. That's who I thought might be carrying them off. But even if there is a small squirrel hole, there should be a pile of mouse traps where they've scraped them off as they try to get out. Here's the stove. I can't find any piles of mouse traps, and there are four of them missing. And they're steel. And a wood one. There's a wood one missing too. So I guess there's five missing. There's only one spot I can think of where they might be, and I haven't been yet. And that is above the shower. So while everything warms up a little bit here, why don't we have a little look? Clearly, we got us a whole pile of quality up in here. There's only one spot that I can't actually see into. Okay, no mouse traps in there. Well, that appears to be a dead rat. There's a whole bunch of dead rats and mice up in there. No mouse traps though. You can see all the way through to the other room. They gotta be in the walls. We pulled the back side of that wall out. They gotta be in the walls. There's still two places. Oh, I haven't seen on top of that yet either. There's still two places that really truly stink of mice. Just inside the kitchen door and in that bathroom. Just inside here stinks some mice. And you remember in an old video I found that that thing was 100% mouse palooza. I pulled this cabinet back and I, I was thinking there might be mice nests underneath of it or behind it and there isn't. Though mouse poop keeps showing up here on the countertops. So. I think I think it needs to come out completely here pretty quick and we'll have to look behind them but fine whatever there's the back side of the shower whatever we will uh, we'll have to come back at this another day No, that's the big squirrel trap. And the mice have eaten mice have eaten the cheese off of it. We got one today. One last time. This one today was was a big one. Got him right there. One today, one last time. So this is where we got the last one, too. So wherever the last nest is, it's yeah. over here. Is that yeah. all the metal on the disappear? No, that's the one that had the mouse in it today. All right, let's see if we can get that stove taken apart. All right, how about you use this shovel and carefully get as much of the ash out as you can. I'm going to take the tools to remove the bricks. All 
Really? How much junk is in there? A lot. How much is junk? The problem is it's wet. So. It's uh. It's all muddy ash in there. Our problem is that the floor is humped, which makes you think that there's whoa a whole bunch of stuff on it, underneath of it, water and nastiness, and if I just light a fire in it. We're gonna bust all these bricks and blow the stove apart. All right, this is what we got. It's not ideal, but I was able to break the bricks off flush with the sides. Nothing I can do seems to loosen these up without smashing all of them, which is certainly an option, but not one I really care for right now. That will allow me to trim these and stand them up in there and uh, they'll just stand against the outside edge and be retained against this bar. Obviously I'll have to cut them with the saw a little bit. That should be okay. That brick right back there is cracked. I guess I just don't see, as long as it's still standing in place, I don't see any benefit to removing it. We have one random brick stuck up in the back there, though I don't think there was ever fire brick up this high. I think that's just you know, from this thing being rolled over so many times in the scrap bin. And I got a nice coating of ash mud up there. I think I'll, I'll leave that in place. That's the air inlet. Right back there. I have this little pocket here. Maybe I'll try to trim one up. Maybe it won't matter. Maybe the ash will just fill that little hole there. And uh, it won't matter. So, and the inside of it's a little more rotted out than I would like to have seen. But I still don't care, so this is this is better than what we're burning. Let's get those bricks trimmed. Got her scratched the right length. I'm gonna cut it with a diamond blade, just a dry blade in the skill saw. Gonna do it outside. This is used brick. I have no idea what it's made of, and uh, I, you know, I fear asbestos. So I'm gonna do it outside with a respirator yeah, not in. and he's staying in here and uh, there's a bit of a breeze blowing so we should be okay. some minor near catasto tragedies when this turf stuff turned out to have the durability of play-doh but yeah obviously I'm missing a piece right there but that'll fill up with ash soon enough and we got one broken back in there that one's broken and that little one's broken but the side walls are back in place I don't have enough brick to go around the top. And there's no appearance that they used to have it at all. You know, just the fire chamber where the coals sit hard up against. That's all we really care about. And again, that'll that'll fill with fine ash, and that'll act as an insulator anyways. Still have no idea if this thing is a galloping piece of crap. But it is at least now ready for service again. <laughs> Computer 
fan or something right there and it blows air all the way around this big chamber here and out the other side I take the time to try and actually scoot it into place today my son insisted that we light this I'm hoping that'll slide up best I can tell that's seven inch or eight inch pipe and then it'll slide down inside here That is all the battery pack we have for today, because it looks like the